Hi everybody, it's Julia Clark here from Colorado School of Yoga, answering a few questions about my upcoming advanced sequencing teacher training, Dosha Flow, which is the culmination of many years of study for me of yoga's holistic sister science, Ayurveda. So the word dosha means literally that which can become imbalanced. And it describes to us through the lens of the five elements how we are all predisposed or prone to certain um, imbalances or emotional and physical responses. So some of us have a little more air and space element and we might be more prone to restlessness or anxiety and that's called vata dosha. Whereas some of us have more of a fiery nature and we might experience anger under stressful situations and that's called pitta dosha. And then the third is a heaviness of the earth and the water elements. It can feel like depression or lethargy and that's described by Ayurveda as kapha dosha. Now the seasons can also uh, provoke those unwanted responses. So summer for example is hot and it can increase that fire. At first we can feel energized and then in excess we can burn out and even feel depleted. Fall has more of the dryness and the coolness associated with the air and space elements and restlessness, whereas winter into spring can feel more heavy, like Cappadocia, that earth and water element where we can feel sort of lazy and like we don't want to get out of bed. Now it's also possible that your yoga practice can be increasing or provoking these unwanted responses. The yoga sequences that we inherited from classical yoga teachers often looked like doing the same sequence over and over again, the same thing every day, which can be fantastic, but it can also increase certain imbalances. So for example, an excessively uh, heated and um, intense yoga practice could actually leave you feeling more frustrated and angry. And a practice where there's a lot of movement between poses and quick transitions could make you feel at certain times of year more ungrounded, more restless. And so of course the goal of yoga is always to invite balance to help us retain inner harmony. So what we're going to be doing in this training is looking at the yoga asanas, the poses, through the lens of the five elements. Uh, so on more of an essential or subtle level, we'll be looking at the physical shapes of the poses and then reflecting upon how they might influence your inner state, your energetic state. And then we'll be approaching our sequencing in such a way that we can ground the restlessness of Vata Dosha, cool or temper the flames of Pitta Dosha, elevate and ignite the heaviness of Kapha Dosha. So we'll be meeting on May 5th and 6th, so it's two full days, Saturday and Sunday, 8 to 6, at my studio Mountain Soul Yoga. We are up in the beautiful Rocky Mountains of Edwards, Colorado. You can get all the details at coloradoschoolofyoga.org.